Good morning guys. So it is a cold and dreary morning this morning as you can probably tell with the lighting. So we are starting this morning off with a autumnal warming delicious breakfast make us feel a little bit better on this dreary morning um so let's make breakfast breakfast this morning was absolutely delicious not something i would usually go for and i would think i wouldn't actually like it but it was so nice and I'll definitely be having it again. You can add some sort of sweetener if you want to, but actually the apple gave it lots of sweetness and it was, yeah, 10 out of 10. So I used my Healthy Extra B and about half my Healthy Extra A with my milk. Um, so what I'm doing now is it is time to do the food shop. I've kind of, throughout the week, I kind of just add things into my basket. And then when I get to the end of the week, I kind of go back through it, see what we've got left in the fridge, the cupboard, see what meals we can already do with what we've got and then add on to it. So, uh, we are on Friday today and I have sausages and I have mince left. So I've looked at the date on them. So they will be for today and for tomorrow, which is Saturday. Um, so I know I've got meals sorted for that. So then I'm going to start from Sunday. Um, so I'm using this little thing here. I've also been using this to help me just jot down what I've been eating throughout the day so for example you can just do this with like some A4 paper or whatever so I've got all my days here and then what I will do is I will write my evening meals on there and um, just so I know like for shopping and things like that and then throughout the week at these little bottom bits here I will just add my sins on throughout the day or so for example if I've had my healthy extra B this morning I will just write healthy extra B breakfast so throughout the day I can just glaze and see what I've used and what I've got left over because I am a sucker for not putting things in the app I scan things in the app and then I never add them on so I'm I'm best for old school pen and paper. Um, so yeah, that's what I use it for. So I'm going to go through now, look what meals we can have. I've kind of got a few ideas in my head. Um, now the weather's getting a bit colder. It's my favourite food. It's the comfort food. I'm not a salad girl, I'm not going to lie. Um, so these summer salads, not really my jam. Um, but sort of hearty like sausage and mash or roast dinners spaghetti bolognese nice stew all of that is my cup of tea so it is lunchtime and i need something quick and easy low scent but something i know that's going to keep me full stop me from snacking so first of all we're going to be having this now this is not everything we're having because if i just eat this i will be hungry in an hour's time um, so this is the naked noodle i think it's the um singapore style curry egg noodles the full lot of this it is three sins i swear this used to be one sin or half a sin um, i may be wrong but this is why it's good to always double check um, so yeah this is three sins I need to now add a couple of ingredients just to make it high protein speedy and make sure that we're not reaching for any snacks later on today so firstly we're going to be adding our noodles which is three sins as you can see you get a lot of noodles in here these are also really nice to add if you're doing like a fake away Chinese or anything like that. Now for some filling power, we are going to add some protein. So this is chicken that I cooked yesterday and I've just heated it up in the microwave. So we're just going to add that for protein. And like I said, this is just going to give it that filling power. Now lastly, we're going to be adding our speed food. So this is our low calorie dense food, but high in nutrients. So we're going to fill that up on our plate. for tonight so we've got the sausages which are a sin each so two sins we've got mushrooms and peppers which are free and speed beans which are a free food bacon which is free and protein i realized i didn't have any eggs um but this is definitely sufficient enough um so two sins in total for tonight's dinner 
off with sausage rolls. So these are nine sins per sausage roll. Eggs, which are free in protein. Two lots of ham, they are both free in protein. I've got the mashed potatoes, which is two and a half sins for the whole lot. So obviously if you just had half of that, you're just looking at just over one sin, one and a half sin. So I've got two lots of them. I've got two lots of bananas here, which are a free food. And then I've got skimmed milk, so you can have 350 millilitres of this as your healthy extra A. Moving over to the meat, I didn't realise I'd got so much chicken, but I've got one of these chickens, so free in protein, two lots of chicken breasts, free in protein, and some bacon. Take the fat off, and it would be free in protein. Stuff in here, which is two and a half cents for 50 grams made up. Fish cakes, which are five and a half cents each, which I really don't mind using my sins on things like this. And then we're over to the pizza, which is for the boys. Um, but I have scanned them anyway, and they're both coming out about 20 sins for 173 grams. So how many grams is in the whole lot? So 305 grams for the whole lot. So I would imagine this is for about half of the pizza. You're looking at about 20 sins and that's the same for both of them. Tikka masala here. Per quarter of the portion is five and a half sins. My favourite low sin sausages, which are the be good to yourself sausages. These are one sin each. Whole milk, you can have 250 millilitres of this as your healthy extra A. I've got red sauce, so one sin for a level tablespoon. These are for the boys, well, not for the boys, for, for the kids, should I say, Harper and Henry. And these are one sin each. And then I've just got a couple of these, because these are on offer. Um, they are half a sin each, and they're a great alternative to, like, Muller Lights, because um, these are full of protein, so they're going to keep you full of longer. And then I've got my gravy here. I'll pop this in value for that on the screen. I've got mushy peas, free food, beans, two lots of beans, free food, tomatoes, which are a speed food. Cucumber, which is a speed food, two lots of bread here. This is gonna be for the boys. Um, so that isn't your healthy extra B, but what I will use this week, so I won't be using that. I'll be using the soft pitters as my healthy extra B. And these are a great option. Um, and one of the best healthy extra Bs in my opinion. But mini nan breads here, which are six cents each, which I don't think is too bad because I do miss having a nan bread when I have a curry. So obviously if you want to just a really quick fake away you could use the chicken tikka sauce and this and you would still be in your sins and obviously you could have plain rice and um, which is free so you'd be looking at just um so about 12 sins something like that um if you wanted to use it on a curry and then we've got some, we've got quite a lot of chocolatey bits because I found that I was nipping to the shop this week a lot to pick bits up. So I thought I would just stock up on it because it's cheaper to get it from Sainsbury's. So five sins for these soft whippy bars. Five sins for my classic curly whirly I like in an evening. I also really like these as a low sin option. So these are six sins, but I just find they've got like a really nice thick chocolate on them. Four sins for one chocolate digestive. Jaffa cakes, two and a half sins for one Jaffa cake. I do love Jaffa cakes, but I cannot just eat one Jaffa cake. Um, eight sins for a jammy wagon wheel. And then moving on to crisps here. So these are three and a half sins for the hula hoops, five sins for the onion rings, and seven sins, I believe, for the ridges. And I also have the large chocolate log here. So this is saying it makes 12 portions and per portion is six in. So that's everything from me today, guys. If you did enjoy this video, I will pop a playlist with my other Slim and World content to go check out. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.